Hello guys, on this video we'll talk about the use of antibiotics. So, some diseases cannot be cured by antibiotics, but some diseases can be cured by antibiotics. But for those diseases which can't be cured by antibiotics, we usually advise to use antibiotics because we want to prevent other diseases from infecting your bed. Because if your beds can be affected with two, two diseases, the other one which can, cannot be cured, and the other one which can be cured, it can kill your beds very fast. So, when there's a disease like Newcastle in your poultry, that disease has got no cure. But we we'll advise you to use antibiotics so that you might not, uh, so that the beds may not catch up another infectious disease. So. If you have two, bed, two, two, two diseases in the poultry, of course they will wipe away your beds very fast. So, diseases like uh, Newcastle, this disease, you can't control it when it's in the poultry. The only way you can control Newcastle disease is when you, you vaccinate your beds accurately. So you need to vaccinate your beds in a good way. So that this disease cannot come in your poultry because there's no cure for this disease. So, you can only control that. So guys, make sure you vaccinate your beds accurately. So another thing is, you know, a disease like uh, Colizer. You know, Colizer is also a disease which has got no proper disease. It, it's got, it's, it has no proper medication to control it. So this one also, you can only control this disease. You can only stop this disease from coming in into your poultry if you vaccinate your beds accurately. So, for colizer, the way you can treat this disease, of course, you know, the eye is uh, usually swollen. There is, uh, when you, there is, there, there is uh, some fat which are in that eye, which is causing the bed not to look properly, not, and they, they can have like partially brined. So, what you do with colizer, you need to, place on that uh, on that swollen thing make sure that thing comes out it will come out of course to some people it will be disturbing when it comes out but you have to do that because hey it's your poetry it's your bed so what you do when you when it comes out you clean it properly then you add up uh, the dacycrine like an eye drop for about three four five days then there's also another way you can uh, you can uh, cure that eye. You can only you can add up also aloe vera, which is lately available to some people. Then you also administer antibiotics, and the main purpose for antibiotics is to prevent the other diseases from attacking your bed because it's already sick. So. Now, when it comes to buying antibiotics, that's where the challenge is with uh, some poultry farmers. So, some poultry farmers, you know, maybe I can say, I can give you a recommendation of a, a certain uh, antibiotic that you need to use for that particular disease. Or, you know, antibiotics, they've got uh, different uh, supplements to prevent it or to to protect the beds from other diseases but there are some which are not uh, really 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 giving good results so when you are given a recommendation of buy this kind of uh, antibiotic when you go to the agro vets i know how these guys behave and uh, i understand because i've seen how these guys work so what I'll tell you is, if you are given a recommendation, it's because the poultry farmer has got that experience before. So he knows how it works. So when you go to the agrovet, of course, they'll tell you, no, we don't have that medicine that you want, but we have this medicine that works exactly as the medicine you are looking for. But the fact is that these people, they are not giving you something that they've tried before. They are just selling it. But because they want to make a sale, they'll sell you anything that is available so that they can make a sale. Because those people want, you know, they're not poultry farmers. 
they only have it theoretically like this one is an antibiotic it works for this one, for this certain infection or this disease they only know that theoretically but they've never experienced they've never kept pets before so when we poultry farmers who've got experience who've, 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 who've faced that challenge before we know how we can cure that and how we can prevent some other disease from coming in because we have experience we don't just have it theoretically no so don't follow what the the agrovet will tell you follow what the poultry farmer has told you because him he knows exactly like i faced this problem before and i used this and it worked for me not just because they they, they, they give you a switch dog no this one works the same way no don't follow that make sure you buy what you are recommended and if you find like what you are recommended is not there of course that poultry farmer will, will tell you okay if that one is not there at least buy so 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 but if you just follow up what these agrofits are giving you you won't get proper results so for you to get proper results you need to make sure you follow up what the poultry farmer has given you then there's also this issue where you start uh, experiencing diseases in the early days of your beds like in the first week of your beds coming into the poultry you don't have to experience diseases so most of the problem comes sometimes it's uh, from the actually sometimes it's from uh, us poultry farmers so when i mean what i mean with uh, the actually is uh, sometimes the beds are not properly vaccinated at the actually and especially if you get your beds from untrusted like an unknown supplier this is why i usually recommend like when you are studying your poetry when you're doing your poetry make sure you get your beds from the supplier that you know oh this supplier has been in in the business for quite a while you get from them but if you get from unknown suppliers I've seen there's so many people who are advertising they are selling beds. I wouldn't advise you to get those beds because if they are coming from the supplier which is not uh, known, you, you don't know what kind of diseases those beds are calling. You don't know if they were fully vaccinated. But with a trusted dealer, you know that these beds they are giving me, they are definitely vaccinated properly then when it comes to a poultry farmer's side maybe bow security you know what you, you find like uh, bow security measures are not uh, accurately taken so you know bow security it deals with the hygiene of uh, your poultry so there are certain factors that you need to take care of at your poultry to make sure you don't experience uh, early age diseases so number you know number one we've mentioned like if they are not vaccinated accurately at the poultry farm at the, at, at the actually sorry then sec the, the, the other thing is bowel security make sure your loom is clean your loom is clean make sure your loom is uh, disinfected then also when it comes to litter system you also need to manage that very well to avoid all these diseases from coming in then also again water water is also important make sure you give your pets proper clean water if you can't drink it don't give it to your pets then the other thing is temperature you need to make sure you follow the temperature regulation given to you according to the supplier of your beds of course they always give you a chart a guide for temperature management also feed get a highly quality feed for your beds so that they can have all the nutrients which they need then ventilation very important make sure that is being taken care of then spacing of your beds that usually happens when they grow like maybe when they are small you can't see like the space is small so when they grow the space becomes small so make sure you buy the beds at a good number don't overcrowd your beds to avoid these diseases from coming in into your your porch so antibiotics will work for your for other beds then it won't work 
antibiotics work for other infectious diseases. For other infectious diseases, it won't work. So make sure you follow up our security measurements. Make sure all these are being taken care of. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you've gotten what I'm saying and I hope you will follow what I've just mentioned and then you, you, you won't be frustrated in dealing with pochi in particular with broilers. So guys, make sure you, you like the video, make sure you subscribe to, to, to the channel so that you are able to watch each and every lesson that we put up here. It is very important for every poultry farmer to understand and to know how to learn the business accurately. So thank you guys for watching.